Hey everyone, so this is going to be a very quick video showing you how you can actually learn from and answer the questions in the Mathematics for the 21st Century series. So I'm going to walk you through the basic flashcards, which are text-based flashcards, for example, in the History of Logic uh, article. And then I'm also going to show you how you answer the mathematics ones and the proof exercises as well. So the first article in the series is just a little bit of history behind logic and how it was developed and the key figures involved. The flashcards are quite simple. They're just mostly a question on the front and an answer on the back. So my approach to studying from this article is quite simple. Take the logical beginnings paragraph, for instance. I'd start by reading through. So let me do that now. Okay, so now I'm at the bottom of the section. These rem inside the blue border, which is called a portal, these are flashcards. And so at this point, what I can do is click on the section heading to zoom in and then click the practice button at the top. And that will allow me to practice just the flashcards in this section. So I can make sure that I have remembered these things before I move on to the other stuff. So I can go ahead and practice these. <laughs> Okay, that'll be Aristotle. Um, something about since Aristotle, logic had barely moved forward or it was finished and complete with Aristotle. Yeah, I'll allow that. Uh, ancient Greek philosopher, founder of formal logic. The organon. Purpose of logic to help them in their other endeavors, scientific endeavors and so on. Logic, Aristotle. Okay, so now I've finished studying the flashcards in that section, what I can do is click on the breadcrumbs up here and go back to the main article and then just continue reading as I was. So now let me show you a more involved example from the logic and deduction article. So by the time you get to this article, you will have done one example proof and you will have checked it with the lean theorem proving language, but you'll still probably be quite confused about what's going on and you might struggle a little bit with the exercises. So I'm going to hopefully be able to show you exactly what you need to do to solve at least one of them. And then you'll understand based on that what you need to do for the next ones. So let me scroll down to the and introduction rule section. And similar to last time, you start off by just reading through. So I'll do that right now. So I'm going to do exactly what I did before and click into the section and then click on the study flashcards button at the top. So given a proof of A and B, I have a proof of A and given a proof of A and B, I also have B. It's an elimination rule because Logical conjunction symbols eliminated in the conclusion. English. Given a proof, separate proofs of A and B, I have a proof of A and B. And introduction. Keep practicing. And elimination. The logical conjunction symbol is introduced in the conclusion. Okay, nice. So those ones are done. And now it's time for the exercises. So one annoying thing is that you have to hide the answers for yourself by toggling these closed. So each one that says lean answer, you need to uh, close. Oh no. Okay. And then for each exercise, you click on the little coder uh, emoji and it should open inside the pane over here and it will take a little bit of time to load. Okay, and then when it's loaded, it will say lean is ready. So here, 
I'll just show you how to solve it really quickly. Hopefully the instructions in the article are clear enough that you can solve it for yourself. But the idea here is to firstly assume AB. So AB is just the identifier that I'm giving to the conjunction of A and B. Uh, and once I make that assumption, you can see that the goal state updates and now my goal is to prove A. So we know that given a conjunction A and B, I can easily get A by using the left elimination law. So whenever you want to complete your proof and give the final result too lean, you use the exact keyword. So I say exact uh, and dot left AB. And remember to finish it off with a comma. And then you'll see that we have the goals accomplished. There is no syntax errors or complaints from lean. So we've successfully solved the proof. Okay guys, I hope that helps a little bit with getting into the exercises. I'm more than happy to do more involved examples. Just let me know.